Evening everyone, it's uh, Noel from UK Foam Smith and Cosplay here. So uh, I just wanted to do, uh, take a moment to just, I asked a question uh, a little while ago about asking for um, belt harnesses um, and bandoliers for the Mandalorian, um, but not quite at the level that uh, I'd like to. A budget doesn't always stretch as far as we'd like. So um, if you really want the best, then Deborah DeMeo is by far the best um, supplier of such things. So uh, I would suggest that she's probably the best person to consider. Uh, but if you can't afford um, her level, uh, but you don't necessarily want to stay cheap either, you want to find a middle ground, then um, I bought the ex Cosa version of the bandolier, which arrived in the post today. So I'm going to do a quick review now and show you around it and so you can make your own mind up as to whether or not it's good or value for money. I know it's not screen accurate. I know that there'll be lots of people who don't think it's very good. Um, but I think it's good to sort of balance everything and just have a little bit of an opinion of all things. So uh, let's go and have a look. So this is, uh, this is it. So it's reasonably thick and well made it's not real leather it is pleather but it's quite soft it's not got the plastic back that you would uh, you would expect it's it's the same on both sides and it's pretty well textured a good color and dense enough that it feels substantial um it's got all the holes and the uh, cartridges went in very well um, nice and tight, but not so tight that you just couldn't get them in. Um, obviously, it's got other details. It's adjustable here, um, which I'll show you here. So you can adjust it according to your height, your body sort of length. Um, so from my perspective, I'm quite short stuff. So I need to put it to its maximum adjustment to take it to its minimum so it fitted me properly. So let's have a little look at what it's got. So like I say, it's a good leather look. It's not it's not real leather, but you know, it looks the part, feels the part. Um, and like I say, soft, uh, but not floppy. So uh, it's got its buckles, which are metal, and uh, clip nicely. Um, you can hear that click. Likewise, it's got that here. Which, as you can see, is pretty chromed up. Again, very metal, very nice uh, click on it. And um, that's where you undo it, is turn from the front, which is far better than the cheaper versions that you have to do on Velcro at the back. Again, you can see here, it's all adjustable. It's got a double aspect to it. Um, so you can adjust it again to your waist. Uh, it's got a good work workable pouch, which is, Got a pistol underneath, a popper, and uh, oops, you can see stitched to a loop. It comes as a separate, and then you thread it on. <clears throat> so that's that. Okay, this is the downside. <clears throat> so yeah, the um, the detonator holder, a bit floppy. Um, it's got nothing really holding it together, um, so it just fl sort of flops around. Uh, these are just um, 3D printed, very light. Um, if you put anything metal in there, I think they'll just curl down. So I'm actually going to be getting the JJ Industries um, LED detonators with uh, the metal back, pl back plate uh, and holder, which I think will slot down nicely inside there and probably pad it out better to where it needs to be but that's probably the weakest part of it um not impressed with that really at all i mean i couldn't leave my detonators in like that they just fall out so that's not that great uh, around the back as you can see this is all adjustable as well through the buckle here so which again double strengths it too so once it's in place it's in place um, there is a limit with this as to how far you can go, but you know there is there is there is room depending on how small you are. But I don't think you need to be. That's kind of say its maximum in its single layer. 
and I'm quite small and that sort of fits me fine. And it's looped at the back there. I'll probably need to put in a Velcro piece inside here so that it stays put and doesn't go sliding around up and down here. So, as I say, these are, these are quite good. Uh, they don't feel like they're gonna rip. So when I push these through, uh, I didn't have fear that it was all gonna rip and fall apart. Got another loop down there where it's attached to, and again, two more here, and then this spare one here. I know it's got a function, but I'm not sure what it is. And then you've got the holster, which also comes as a separate, and is also looped, so you can thread it on. Two more cartridge holders here. Um, so the holster itself, um, again, feels decent quality. Feels like it, it um, takes your blaster well. Um, so the slide loop, as, as per the design, is, uh, again, doesn't feel flimsy and it's studded on. So it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out at the first opportunity. Uh, it's on a Velcro backed loop. So you can just pull that off if necessary and adjust it. Uh, obviously it nestles nicely between here and here. And then your hip plate will obviously go underneath. Um, so yeah, still, still yet to work that one out because there's no Velcro on the inside of this way it goes. So you're gonna, I'm gonna have to fit that. Um, but nice, uh, decent sort of nozzle. So then, you know, when you, uh, when you pull your gun out, which uh, obviously is very difficult to do when it's hanging on a mannequin, um, I don't feel it's gonna catch and pull off the nozzle. So not bad quality at all. So overall, 75 pounds, it's not appalling. It's uh, not, Holy screen, uh, screen accurate, but I'm quite pleased with it for the level that I'm aiming at. Um, all my money's going into Beskar. Uh, the soft parts I'm gonna work on slowly, piece by piece. And this is an upgrade from where I was, which was the uh, cheap one that came with it with the old kit. So, um, so yeah, so metal buckles, decent loops, decent stitching all the way around. Feels like a nice soft but strong quality. Um, only downside is the uh, charger holder. It needs the metal insert really to make it worthwhile. Um, everything else I'm reasonably happy with. So I hope that gives you a, um, a better understanding of the cheaper grade. Um, it, like I say, we can't always afford the, the top of the range and this fits us nicely in between. So I hope that's uh, useful information and uh, you can make your own mind up as to what you think. All right, take care of yourselves, I'll see you soon.